Spider-Man now invents the existence of the secret seventh member of the Sinister Six. The Sinister Six is an iconic group in Spider-Man's career. Not only because it brings so many criminals together against just one hero, but also because of the fun it is to see the flashy dynamics between the members and the way their combined powers work against the friendly neighbor. Now, more than 60 years after this team's debut, Marvel Comics reveals its secret seventh member. The Sinister Six first appeared in 1964, the Amazing Spider-Man Annual No. 1, with the best-known lineup, Dr. Octopus, Mysterio, Sandman, Electro, Vulture, and Kraven the Hunter. Since then, the team has become a fixture of Spider-Man history, with many different villains coming and going from the group. One of the interesting aspects that Sinister Six brings is reaffirming the type of heroism that Spider-Man represents. This is because the villains who are usually part of the group have tragic stories similar to Peter Parker's, they are people who accidentally gained powers and, somehow, use their new abilities to deal with fatalities involving relatives. Because Peter's values prevented him from becoming completely corrupted, the Sinister Six represents everything Spider-Man would have been if he used his powers for his own benefit or just to commit villainy. And now, Marvel invents that an unknown secret seventh member was always part of the initial team, however, this figure has been erased from the memories of everyone in the world. Who is the secret seventh member? In Whatever Happened to Master Blood, a story that is part of the anthology Spider-Man, Black Suit and Blood No. 3, recently released, the plot brings to light the Secret Wars of 1984, an event in which several heroes and villains were taken to an alien world and forced to fight. However, the bandit side now includes a costumed figure called Master Blood. And that's not all, Master Blood recounts his many adventures alongside other Marvel villains, all stories relating to classic editions. He even claims to be a founding member of the Sinister Heptetus. Although the plot reveals an unknown relevance of this figure, it does not give details about his powers or deeds. But what happened to that Master Blood? Then, the retroactive continuity begins to give off its odor when the story explains that Kong the Conqueror, revolted against Master Blood, erases him from the timeline with one of his miraculous futuristic weapons. In other words, it's a seed that Marvel planted to explore soon. This isn't the first time Marvel has used the trick of removing a character from official continuity entirely. She already did this with a She-Hulk villain, Cloakwise, in 2006, and with the powerful Sentinel. Write in the comments, Sextito Sinister, and I'll answer a curiosity about the group for you.